law isn't a good thing. It's something that tells us that if we pick up firewood on the Sabbath, we should be stoned. Mm, this is Sabbath day. I smell the smoke of what firewood produces. Let's go over there. Let's see if someone is, well, we can't go too far. If we go too far, we will be stoned. Let's not question the priest. He will certainly have us put to death. Uh, we're going to have to stay right here. <clears throat> we'll check that out next time. Maybe next Sabbath day we will get close enough to see if he's actually doing it. And maybe he won't know that we're standing around to see if he's actually picking up firewood. We couldn't, you know, investigate the thing because that's not allowed. We would die too. That's not reasonable, is it? Adam, my son, come in, sit down, make yourself comfortable. Thank you for coming on such short notice. I realize that it's, a, it's an inconvenience for you, but uh, it was necessary. How, how have you been? Let me, let me take a look at you. You're looking good. Oh yeah, you're a, you're looking real good with the face and the and the two eyes and the, the thing here, the nose. You're a beautiful man. I, I did a good job when I made you. You hungry? You want you want something to eat? Uh, we got a calzone, uh, spaghetti, lasagna, uh, spaghetti oaf. We got a uh, we got the hot pocket. Have you seen these things? They're easy and quick to warm up and they taste delicious? No? All right. How's Eve doing? Is she working out for you? Hey, listen, I'm sorry about that rib, but uh, you know, it uh, it had to be done, you know. Is it still sore? Are you feeling better? Good. How, how's she working out for you? She's a pretty good helper? Yeah? Good, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, I thought that she would be good. Uh, you thirsty? You want something to drink? Uh, you got, we got some water, some wine, maybe, some cognac. Uh, we got a, uh, we got these new juice boxes. Have you seen the juice boxes? They're like about that tall, and they got the straw on the side, and you just, you take the straw and you poke it in the top, and you got instant juice. You want some of that? No, you're not thirsty at all. You look nervous, Adam. Relax. You, you're making me nervous. and no, That's no good. Just settle down. It's, it's me, your father. How's the, uh, the animal naming going? Have you got them all named yet? I, I like the lion one. I, that, that was, that was a, a stroke of genius, I must say, because a, a lion, a rah. I, I hear it in the name, lion. It's nice, nice touch. And the squirrel, that little cute little thing with eating the nuts and the, you call it a squirrel, it's brilliant. And I want to say that to people, you, you're getting squirrely on me, you know, it works. I love it. You, are you sure you're not hungry? You look, you're looking a little skinny. You want, you want uh, some, some dessert? We got some chocolate cake. I know you like chocolate. No, you don't want no chocolate cake? Okay, how about uh, how about some fruit? You want some fruit? Uh, some maybe a banana? Maybe a maybe a strawberry? Maybe a maybe an apple? Hmm? You don't want an apple? Come on, Adam. Who you think you're talking to? <laughs> I know you like apples. I hear things. I see things. I know that you like apples. 
don't lie to me. Adam, don't lie to God. I know what you did with my tree. You know, I don't know what to do with you anymore. You're making me very... Got a lot of this going on inside, you know. I love you with all my heart. I took the dirt and I, I made you with my own hands. I blew life into your nostrils. And then I saw that you were lonely. So what did I do? I made a beautiful woman to help you. And you guys needed something to do. So I made you a luscious garden. Fruit just bloomed from the trees and came up from the ground. Everything that you could want. I made animals that you could name. And I made you king of the world! My world! And I ask one thing of you. One simple thing. Don't touch my tree. Now what do you do? I'll tell you what you did. You and your woman let a snake talk you into betraying me! And now you put me in a very difficult situation. Because you have made me look like a fool. So what would you do if you were in my place? Adam. Adam, you, you disgust me. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. You like apples? Fine. From now on, you're gonna have to grow them yourself! You like making your own choices? You like doing your own thing instead of what your father tells you to do? Fine! You're gonna have to do it yourself. You like this pretty garden? You're never gonna see it again. You are under a curse, my friend. And your children are under a curse. You like living? Well, forget about it because you're gonna die. And your children are gonna die. And your wife is gonna die. And your children's children are gonna die! I'm sick of you. You get out of my face. Give me something to clean this up. Because you're gonna work for the rest of your life. Put some clothes on. That fig leaf is not fitting of you. Get out of my sight and get to work. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Get back here, don't walk away from me. Sit down. You leave when I tell you to leave. I had such, such wonderful plans for you, Adam. How, how could you do this to me? You broke my heart, Adam. You broke... Get out of my face! Get out! Right? Go! Go! What are you doing? Sit down! You break everything, my friend. My son. My former son. Get out of my face! I don't even know what to do with you! Yes, I do! Get out of here! You're not welcome! I don't want to see you again! You look like an idiot now, leave! Put some decent clothes on for, for, for my sake! Okay. Yes. Yeah.